So you figured out how to use Pixlr, at least what the logic is, what the logic is to any photo editing software. How do layers work? How do you edit layers to get different effects to work in them? But now you're wondering, how do I get my images in there? And how do I adjust the canvas size? How do I make sure that doesn't pixelate? How do I make sure I don't get something that's too uh, small for what I want to edit? Well, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about that. How do you cram stuff into your photo editing software and make sure it looks good coming out on the other end. An important part about any photo editing experience is putting stuff into the photo editing software in a way so that you don't overshoot what you're trying to do. If you load in a picture that's too small, like something that has maybe a uh, pixel count of 100 by 100, and you're aiming to make something that's more like 400 by 400, when you blow the image up to 400 by 400, it's gonna become pixelated because the photo editing software's uh, suites, platforms, algorithms have to do some work to basically get things to look the way you want it to look. So because of that, it's better to start with something that's really big, maybe 800 by 800, and then kind of whittle it down to something that's more like 400 by 400. So in that way, you're only taking the stuff that's really good and you're not telling the photo editing software, hey, you need to uh, expand these pixels. All you're really telling it to do is, ah, cut around these pixels, they're not really that important. So um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do just that, how to select something and adjust the canvas size and the pixel size so that you get it to be exactly the size of what you need for the head editor in your blog. So first, let's look at how to choose a WordPress header. Oh, okay, so we're back. Um, so now I'm gonna show you in Pixlr how to basically set things up to um, create a header for your blog. Some of the basic tools you're gonna need. This includes um, cutting and pasting, uh, sizing your canvas and image, and importing and exporting things from Pixlr. And we're gonna do this the easy way from URL, which is this option here, but there's also an option in your file menu to do this. But to start, you have to go to your blog to see how big the image you want to make will be and take a note of it. So I've opened up uh, my blog here, best blog ever. And if I go over here to appearance, I can go to header and that will give me the stats I need to make my header. And you see, it tells me exactly how many pixels I'm looking for, 960 by 260. So when I look for images on Google, I need to make sure I get images way bigger than this or else they're going to come up all weird here and that's not what we want. Now that you've seen how to choose a WordPress header, it's time to go turn it over back to the Pixlr software and see how to edit the pixel counts. Search. Um, let's start with something like cats. I like cats. And I want to search images, so I'll click on images. And of course, here's so many, so many cute, cute, cute cats. Angel cats, uh, that's not good. And other cats, heart cats, etc. cetera. Um, but of course, we want these to be Creative Commons style images. So we'll go to the gear, advanced search. Uh, make sure this comes under a Creative Commons license under usage rights. Uh, it shouldn't be not filtered by license. We want things to free to use, share, or modify. So that needs to be in usage rights. And of course, image size, as we said, needs to be larger than 900. Um, so that's somewhere between these two. I think we can get away with 800 by 600 as long as we're careful and we look at each one. So I'm gonna click on that. And then let's go to advanced search. And then looking at all the cats, let's try and find one that is not as copyright protected. Uh, this one's adorable. This is not a cat. This one's very cute. Um, uh, all right, we'll go with this, this landscape for the time being. You'll see. We're going to get some cats in here. So once you get your thing, you take your, uh, take your address, copy it, and go back to Pixlr, and then go to open image from URL. And then you paste the address in there, Hit OK, and then it's going to give this progress screen where it, it kind of loads the thing in. And we have to wait. Tick tock, tick tock. What's going on? Oh, Pixlr. I know you can process this image. It's not that big. Oops. 
taking forever. Oh, there it goes. 17%. Okay, so this is a big image for pixel or process, so it took a minute. But now we've got it, and we can do stuff to it. And this is going to be our background. It's the background layer, as you can see. But we need it to be the size of the blog. So as you check, 960 by 260. 960 by 260. So we can take that out with the crop tool. And as you see, it's going to come up in the navigator window how big the area I'm cropping is. Um, and that's going to be mostly across because this is a banner image and a little up and down. So I'm going to shoot for this. So let's see what happens. It's okay to overdo it. So 970 by 2. Okay, this 280. Perfect. 990 by 280. So I'm going to crop it down to that area. And then just double click in the crop box to take the image. Get rid of everything else. So that's all I want for my header. I've cropped this. Now I'm going to shrink this. Now that the image is this big, I'm going to shrink the actual canvas size down. So I'll go to image, canvas size, and I can actually go to exactly 960 by 260. And then this anchor tells me where to grab on the image, so where to anchor it on the image. So from here, it will leave the image that's here on the top left and cut from this side and cut from the bottom. If I do it from this side, it'll cut from this side and the bottom, and that's what I'm going to do. So watch as I do that. OK. And left this, but cut off some of the rocks and water down here. But now we're exactly at the, the background size we want for the header, which is good. And because we were shrinking it and not increasing the size, um, it's going to be great resolution as we get to the next step. Great. So now you know how to put this image into Pixlr, edit the pixel counts in such a way that you can um, easily export the image to WordPress as a banner as specified by the size. Please tune in for the last uh, set of this tutorial series where I'll show you how to import another image and then cut and paste as that's the last real important thing and to maybe then work with some layers uh, playing with effects and stuff. Anyway, see you there.